Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you to live in the world, but don't be of the world. Trust in who you are and be open to learning more about who you truly are within. See, the world outside of us can tell us who we are or imply who we are many different ways, what we should or shouldn't be. Uh, attach us to labels, ideas. But within your inner world, you are so much more divinely powerful. Now, without getting too abstract, this is a reminder to trust in who you are. Go within. You don't have to unpack every uh, incident or thing that has occurred along your journey. No. Think about the version of you you desire to be. Think about the love that the God, universe, whatever you believe in has for you and has provided for you. And in doing so, it would allow you to open your, open your spirit, open your heart to endless possibilities. See, in the outside world, we're, we're told or we're guided to uh, exercise a certain level of power. And that power usually is in the form of having positions to give us a sense of power over others, uh, power over the way that others live, think, show up in the world. That's man-made and that's false. Take time to tap into the power that is within you, the beauty that is within you. And in doing so, not only do you change the perception that others may have of you, but you also operate with a certain knowing, a certain understanding that the ways of man is, is minute compared to the true divine power that each one of us have within ourselves that connects us to the God of our belief. I use the word God hesitantly, but that's how I identify the source that has allowed me to be here today. Your God is going to look like your God, and that's okay. But trust, tap in, and build a relationship with that God of your journey. And I dare to say prioritize that more than whatever man has told you you should focus on. Because in doing so, you get to peel back the layers that you have dressed this idea of yourself in and you begin to see a truer essence of who you are. You begin to see a truer essence of the relationship that you have with yourself, with this vessel that your spirit is in. More importantly, you begin to identify more and more with the power that you truly have and not with this limited power that man says that we do have or should have or should want to have. There's so much more to life than that. So in exercising this ability to connect more with our inner world, with our God, with our universe within, we evolve differently. We show up differently. We see our reality a whole lot differently. And even when you come across those that are in different states of mind than yourself, you don't take it personal. It's nothing to take personal because we're all forever evolving. So just as one baby going into their inner world more, enriching their inner life, you also understand what it's like to be caught up in the world of shadows, to be caught up in this external world. Gives us a chance to offer a little, offer a little bit of grace, a little forgiveness. And I don't know what that looks like you, for you. But for me, it's a lovely thing. It's a lovely thing because it keeps me from getting caught up in judgment. It allows me to understand I've been there. I understand that state. 
and I don't want to experience it within my inner world, so I won't allow that to impact my inner world. Let people be. Don't attempt to change them. Not at all. You simply be who you are, be true to your inner world, be true to your understanding, and you maneuver that way. And sometimes that requires us to physically remove ourselves from environments. Sometimes it means mentally detaching ourselves from environments or relationships. If that's okay, protect your peace. But I do want to remind you today that going into your inner world is way more fulfilling than whatever this external world can give you. I'm not saying that you still can't get the things that you desire and that you dream of and bring those into fruition. Not at all. I'm simply saying that it's possible. That maybe the more we go within, the easier those things that we desire come. Simple but not easy. I think it's a good point to leave it for now. Until next time, be blessed, and please don't forget to smile.